Hello everybody, it's the left-handed lady here. Coming at you today with our January plan with me. We're gonna flip right through to our page that we have sketched out for the second week in January. We're doing more of like a sticky note on paper theme for this week. We've got a lot of stuff going on at individual days and I needed some abnormally large boxes for certain days. So I went out of my comfort zone and did an unsymmetrical artist inspired look. I'm taking my Tombow dual brush pen in the same colors that we started with the beginning of the month and doing a drop shadow around all of the individual sticky note squares just to give it some dimension and a pop of color. Now when you're using Tombow brush pens, you need to be very careful with how many times you go over a certain spot because the more and more pigment that you lay down in a certain spot, the darker and more saturated that piece is going to be. So if you want a very consistent looking shadow, you need to be very steady with your hands or be willing to go over it twice like I just did. Now I will tell you that this is a skill that I have learned by being able to tilt my journal towards me in different angles. Well, now that I know I can't do that while I'm filming, I'm having to retrain my brain to hold the markers a certain way till I make a, a straight line without having to go over again. As you can see, it's clearly taking some time to practice and at some points I just gave up and did it for the marker's sake because it just wasn't working at a straight. It was working so much better when I could pull it towards my body. But it messes up your shot every time you move the journal. <laughs> now I'm taking a ruler that's not broken this time and a Papermate felt tip liner in black and just outlining all of those individual post-it note squares obviously to accentuate the details but also you can use those black lines and I'm using a bolder tip here to fix any of the highlighter or marker pieces that you used that went into your sketch or over where you didn't want to using that black to go over it and making that line a little bit straighter. As you can see right here, makes it look like you didn't even make a mistake. Now, like I mentioned before, I set this spread up specifically because I had busier days this week than I normally do, and I wanted to give myself bigger sections on days like, say, Wednesday and Thursday where I needed a little bit more space. I also needed to add in a couple boxes for video notes and memos, so I don't always do my spread this way. But I think it's great to mention that you can change your spread up week to week or even day to day. Some people plan a page a day. And it's amazing because no matter how busy you get or how unbusy you are, this journal can cater to you because you are creating it. You are building it along with your life. That is why I'm only showing you one week spread here is because every Sunday I set up my spread for the next week. It's like my recap, my unwind, and I love it. And I'm sorry, I'm not going to change that. So I'm just doing one, showing you this one this week. But I will show you a sketch of what next week is going to look like and what last week looked like so you get an idea of how you can change up your spreads. Now I'm taking those Tombow brush pens in the same colors that I used to shadow to make a little line where I'm going to put the title or the day of the week in each of those boxes. I'm just using a 
paper may ink joy in black and going over and writing each name of the day in each box. Now I will mention a little hack slash a challenge that I challenge you to do. Every time you set up your weekly spread, write the days of the week in a different font. So every week you're practicing a different font for seven different words and it's super easy. It makes it easy to practice, easy to get new styles in, and why not change up something that you have to write every single week? Just make it a little bit more fun and memorable. Now for the unnecessary step. I am, of course, adding glitter. <laughs> adding glitter gel pen to the top of all of the black writing. I, I don't even know why. <laughs> it just makes me smile. I'll say it again, and I'll probably do it again. So be prepared. This is a step you don't have to follow. You don't have to follow any of my steps. I'm just sharing my creativity. As I hope that some of you will comment down below and share your creativity. Let me see your January spreads. I would love to get ideas. Okay, now flipping back to our January monthly spread to figure out if I have anything set in the books yet for certain days. I'm also going through and writing the date of each day next to the day. <laughs> that was contradicting itself, wasn't it? <laughs> but yeah, I'm doing that. Then I'm taking my Tombow brush pens and highlighting with a different color so it stands out the events that I have to do, like this eye appointment that I had to reschedule and I already wrote it in my journal. Lovely, isn't it? And of course, my mama's birthday. She's got a big birthday this weekend and my dad is actually taking her out of town. So I have a lot to do to take care of all of her animals. <laughs> Hence the big spread week. But happy birthday mom. I'm glad that you got to have some free time. I'm going in and writing all my work schedule in, and that's pretty much it. I did add more throughout the week, but I'm not going to be able to show you that. So this is what it looks like when I first start out, when I first set up my journal, the things that I need right away, and each day I build a do list on top of that. Now that's my spread for this week. Now let's flip back to next week, and you can see that I have laid out a spread to where I have a space for my to-do list for work and then highlighted events as well as my to-do list. I also added a little doodle and a cute quote but this week's more busy so we got it simple and then next week this is probably what I'm gonna do uh, just a vertical spread um, but like I said I'm not gonna set that up until next Sunday. Well thanks for watching guys and I will see y'all later. I hope you like, share, and subscribe. And remember to never stop creating.